The tale of Daniel Ricardo never seems to end, and the most recent development suggests that the Australian may find it difficult to leave Racing Bulls as quickly as we had thought. Racing Bulls title sponsors Visa and Cash App appear to be supporting the eight-time race winner strongly, as they are unwilling to give up on the Australian as quickly as Red Bull and the team located in Faenza are. But considering this, is it possible that the wishes of Racing Bull's principal sponsors would dictate the team's entire future? If so, how will this development affect Lawson? For Ricardo, the Singapore Grand Prix was an emotional roller coaster. He was spotted lingering in the driver's seat to enjoy the final moments of his Formula One career. But might this be his final lap? Even in his post race interviews, Ricardo expressed that he gave it his all and that he knew this might be it. Team principal Laurent Mechis further reaffirmed this, saying that Ricardo's fastest lap on his final try was meant to honour what might have been his final career race. However, rumours that this would be Ricardo's final race, and that Lawson would take over from Austin, began to spread even before the Singapore Grand Prix. After the Singapore weekend, Marco assured us that something would be fixed. But now a very fresh twist has been offered by one of the most essential components in this entire affair, the sponsors of Racing Bulls. You must see Visa and Cash App's larger picture in order to comprehend the situation more fully. The Racing Bulls title sponsors and how their impact has the power to drastically alter the situation in Red Bull's camp. One of the main reasons the team needs either a strong lineup of drivers or good funding to stay in the sport is that, prior to the team's rebranding as Alpha Tori, there were worries that poor performance and results could put the team up for sale or bankruptcy. Ricardo arrived with the main narrative that he is there to replace Perez and outperform Heck out of the vehicle and Tsunoda in order to be considered as a credible option for Red Bull's seat, since it became apparent that De Vries would not achieve what he had been asked to give. Many people overlooked the fact that Ricardo was a major factor in the decision of businesses like Visa and Cash App to enter the sport due to his influence on the American market and his marketing worth, which is these companies' main objective more or less. They are putting in a lot of money to keep things going since they have gone so far as to sponsor Racing Bulls as title sponsors. And it may be one of the reasons they are currently sitting at P6 in the Constructors' Championship, two steps above where they were at this time of year in 2023. Now, these two businesses are having a difficult time replacing Ricardo because, as photographer and paddock insider Kim Illman claims, Visa and Cash App are blocking Ricardo's exit because they view the Australian as extremely beneficial to their operations. This is the underappreciated dark side of sports because although Ricardo failed to meet expectations to significantly outperform Sonoda and establish himself as the team's go to guy in the event that Perez needs to be replaced, Things are now turning around in his favour because he has the financial support of the two most important members of the Faenza Bay squad. Though it's not as though they don't appreciate Lawson, the reality is that these businesses exist purely for commercial purposes. Of course, if the Kiwi-born driver lives up to Horner and Marco's expectations, his performance might put the team on the map and at the top of the midfield. However, he is not enlisting the support of any sponsors, which is seriously harming his admission effort. There's not much that the other players could do because this is how the sport operates. And to understand how things go when you have the financial support behind you, we only need to take a cursory glance at Lance Stroll and his circumstances with Aston Martin. Ricardo is by no means a paid driver, of course, and even Sonoda acknowledged that his teammates' post-messy session comments was much more detailed and comprehensive, something he's now learning to do himself. However, the Japanese driver is ahead on the points, which makes it more difficult for Ricardo to defend his continued membership in the squad. Speaking about the driver's current predicament, Christian Horner himself has stated that Ricardo ought to have taken Perez's place if he dropped the ball next to Verstappen. However, Horner is now willing to consider all of the options that are on the table, which excludes employing a driver like George Russell, who is not part of their pool. Speaking about the state of affairs between Red Bull and its drivers at the moment, the British said, We've now got a period of time where we'll evaluate all of the relevant performance of the drivers. It's just a natural break in the season to reflect on that. There's a bigger picture beyond Daniel. He's just part of the jigsaw. We know Daniel very well. 
We know what he's capable of, how he drives a car. We have that knowledge. Once more, it's critical to remember that although Ricardo's contribution to the song is highly recognised, his marketing value is being affected by something that occurs behind closed doors. This is the main cause, as Marco and Horner have both acknowledged, for the Red Bull sister team's continuous success and their determined efforts to distance themselves from the Austrian squad. For they have made some significant remarks in the field by employing individuals such as Laurent Makes and Peter Bayer. However, all of this has been made possible by the sponsors of Cash App and Visa, who have come under fire from Formula One fans who believe the sport is gradually but surely becoming a giant advertising platform with little room for actual motorsport teams and businesses. Red Bull finds itself in a challenging situation as a result of all of this. Although they wish to develop its drivers internally and offer opportunities to those who have consistently shown themselves to be very quick, they are now faced with making decisions based on their existing circumstances. Because we observed a great deal of uncertainty from the appropriate Red Bull and Racing Bulls team members during the entire weekend in Singapore, we had the impression that Ricardo was racing in his final Formula One race over the weekend, and Laurent Mechi appeared a little awkward in his answers. However, there is absolutely no formal confirmation of his position. A situation such to this one surfaced in Spa, when Verstappen was purportedly promised Ricardo as a replacement teammate. However, it transpired that Perez's sponsors exerted significant pressure on Red Bull to retain the Mexican driver for the duration of 2024. Because of this, we should not take the pattern of similarities between what happened to Red Bull back then and what is happening to Ricardo and Racing Bulls right now lightly. Instead, we should prepare ourselves for a challenging time ahead. It will also be more challenging for Lawson, who is currently facing major consequences from Racing Bulls, the sponsors of Cash App and Visa, for not being able to pursue an F1 career. Red Bull didn't immediately put him in the mix, despite the fact that he demonstrated in a five-race stint back in 2023 that he is capable of getting an underperforming vehicle to the points, finishing P9 in Singapore in his first ever appearance at this race. The Austrian team now has to consider something that might be more important than Cash App and Visa, Verstappen's future. From 2026 onwards, the three-time world champion's future with the Austrian team is seriously in doubt as Marco encouraged a possible departure by pointing out that Max can and will drive for a team that has the ability to win races. Furthermore, the RB20 issues, which might or might not be resolved in Austin, might encourage the three-time world champion to consider an early termination clause in his contract. This would put Red Bull in a difficult position where they would have to select a driver to take Max's place. I would say those are some fairly huge shoes to fill. In light of this, they may find that Lawson needs a year to train before they can begin the rebuilding process. Alternatively, as Horner suggested, perhaps bringing in George Russell and recruiting outside could also resolve this problem. Nevertheless, the driver's lineup is subject to the sponsor's approval. And given all that is now going on with Ricardo and Racing Bulls, do you believe that the Australian has a chance to hold on to the seat due to the commercial aspect of managing these two organisations? Tell us in the comments section below. And once you do that, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.